In this video, I want to talk to you guys about why it's important to follow your passion and what you're actually, you know, um, what do you love doing? And um, this really came to me after I read a quote uh, that said, uh, if you find a job that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Now, it's really important when you're first starting out that you don't just go after your passion and say, you know, this is what I'm trying to do. Um, you know, I love to do this thing. Therefore, this is the only thing I'm going to do because oftentimes when you're first starting out, the thing that you're passionate about may not pay the bills and you need to have something that's going to pay the bills before you actually get into um, you know, the thing that you are actually passionate about. And in, so in this video, I'm going to go into how I found my passion and you know, how I transitioned into it and what did I do in the beginning before I went into the thing that I actually truly love and care for. Now, those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Bashar Ketu and I'm the founder of BJK University, an education company with a mission to impact one million lives. So back in 2015, um, I had just came out of running a restaurant for three years. Uh, the place burned down. I had no insurance to cover the losses. And what happened was, I was kicked out because I had no insurance. I defaulted on my lease and uh, I didn't have money to pay. And so I came out of the place with 150K in debt and I had lost hundreds of thousands of dollars over the past three years um, running the place. And so I realized that, you know, for, for about three, four months, I went into depression. I even got a DUI because I was, you know, drinking heavily. I'm glad that it happened the way it did because. I'm glad that it didn't happen where you know, I was driving one day and smashed into someone and killed somebody. Um, but what I realized is that you know, the restaurant thing, I wasn't passionate about it. And, and that was one of the reasons why I also failed because I wasn't, although I was the hardest working man, I was you know, working 120 hours every single week, but I wasn't excited about it. It was something that I, want, you know, I had to do because I wanted to become successful in life. And so after I kind of went into this phase of discovery, trying to discover the next thing, right? What am I gonna do with my life? And that's when I found this concept called Amazon FBA. And over the last seven years, that's kind of what I've been doing. But after about two, three years of selling on Amazon, I realized that it wasn't, I wasn't passionate about it. Because you see, I was looking at, you know, at my, at the, you know, two, three years, and this was about 2018, 2019. I had been selling for about, you know, two, three years now. I still remember one day um, I went into, um, I was at my wife's cousin's house and we were sitting, we were talking and he asked me, uh, he said, where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? And I remember staring at him in the face for like 10 minutes, not knowing what I was going to be doing for the next, you know, three to five years. And for him, he was a little confused. He's like, but you've got a successful business. And at the time I was probably making about 20, 30, maybe at $40,000 a month in net profits. And I was like, you know, that's kind of interesting too, because I thought like, because I found a business that generates money, I had never ever made that much money in my life before, especially being that I could run it from anywhere in the world, just computer and internet. It's like, what else anyone would wish for? But I realized it wasn't something I was passionate about because I was thinking about like, I got into this thing because I wanted to make money. I wanted to clear my debt. I wanted to retire my parents. I wanted to get married. I accomplished all these things. I now had a bank account growing, maybe had like a hundred, hundred fifty thousand dollars in the bank rate at that point. And, but I didn't see myself continuing just simply because, you know, I was working about 30, 45 hours, uh, uh, 30, 45 minutes a day. I had a VAs running this place, uh, uh, this business. And I just, it, there was no true impact. You know, I, I don't live lavishly. I live pretty frugally. And so, you know, anything beyond $10,000, $15,000 a month and profits just didn't add, didn't have that much more meaning, didn't add value into my life. And so I had a business generating all these profits. I had a bank account growing. My lifestyle was not changing or going to change. And I just didn't have meaning in life. I didn't, I wasn't fulfilled, you know? Yeah, maybe I can discount my products and sell it for a dollar or two cheaper to my customers. But I mean, what kind of a, an impact am I really making in their life? Maybe saving them a dollar or two on a, you know, on a spatula or a spoon or a plate or something like that. It's not really making an impact. And I remember around that same time, I was helping somebody sell on Amazon. And one day I woke up with a message saying, hey bro, you're the fucking man. I've made $36,000 of profits in the last six months. And that's when I realized that, you know, 
This is a 22 year old kid that I just thought the things that I know and now I've completely transformed his life. And I remember feeling something deep down. And that's when I realized that I have, outside of having a, a tool and a system that I learned that, I, that can make me tens of thousands of dollars a month in profits, I can actually take these skills and I can teach other people how to do the same thing for them. And I can transform their lives. Outside of just transforming my life, my life, the life of my parents, life of my spouse, life of my family, you know, people around me because I can help and maybe take out and stuff like that. But I can help the lives of hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, millions of people around the world, right? And that's when I found true fulfillment. And for the last four years, for the last three years, I've been doing just that. And that's the thing that I am completely passionate about, right? Is transforming people's lives, is providing opportunity to other people, allowing them a chance at transforming their life and, and showing them that there is a better way, that there is a non-traditional you know, traditional way that you can actually accomplish the things that you want to do. And I'm not telling you that everyone in our university is a millionaire or makes hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars, but if I can teach someone to make two, three, four thousand dollars a month, simply match what they're making at their job, but from the comfort of their home, being able to spend more time with their family and loved ones, that's transformation for me and that satisfies me, right? That fulfills me, right? But one thing you have to understand is that I didn't start with my passion because of number one, I didn't even know what I was passionate about. And oftentimes a lot of people hear, you know, everyone talking about, well, if you find your passion, you'll never work a day in your life, which is what I started this video with. But it's like, how do you even find your passion? Now, some people are passionate about music. They're passionate about art. They're passionate about, you know, whatever it is, and they already know their passion. I know for me, I didn't know my passion. And then, you know, right now my passion is providing opportunity to other people, but when I was broken in debt, I didn't give two shits about other people. It's like, because, you know, I know that, you know, sometimes people say this, it's like, Bashar, but, you know, if, if, like, if I can't even, like, feed my family, how am I even gonna be thinking about my passion? And that's 100% right. You're not gonna be thinking about your passion. But well, you have to start somewhere, you have to do something, you have to start with something, and then that something can then lead you to your passion. So for me it was, I found selling on Amazon, I simply learned a skill, and I was able to you know, fulfill my needs, fulfill my desires, fulfill the needs of my family and close ones. I had to first, because you can't pour outside of an empty cup, right? You have to fulfill your own needs and desires first, and then that led me to my passion. So for you, you want to start somewhere. You want to find something that, you know, you're not always in survival mode and just hand to mouth. And, and instead, you, you have something that kind of creates like a safety net for you. And then that's going to allow you time and headspace so that you can start looking into your passion. Outside of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the thumbs up button, consider subscribing. Also share this video with a loved one or someone you believe that they could uh, benefit from this message. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.